some of the weddings I'd have to go to. Has anyone here ever been to a wedding where you've had to take a ham? <laughs> Only other person, Tom, who I went to school with from South East London. <laughs> Product heavy neighborhood. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> Ham is a thing in South East London. Because what would happen is they'd get married and can't really afford to feed the whole do because about 300 people turn up. So they go to a registry office, get a pub with a function room, and then all the different families have to bring something for the buffet. You know, we were in charge of ham. Some people in charge of, you know, potatoes, salad. And I don't want to show off, but being in charge of ham is quite a big deal. Quite a big dick swinging move. We've had a good year, it's fine. We brought the ham. But then some cocky cousin turns up that didn't even RSVP with a poached salmon, <laughs> cuts up cucumber on it in a dish the shape of a fish in case I didn't know what I was fucking eating. <laughs> <laughs> then your oiky cousin turns up with like six kids, not even all of them, just the ones you could be bothered to pick up. <laughs> The ones he had space for in his car. He's in charge of crisps. <laughs> Come on, mate, you know that ain't enough crisps. That's two Dorito grab bags. <laughs> That's not enough crisps for the kids you've bred. <laughs> I can't afford it, I'm struggling at the moment, I can't afford it, all right? I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> he says on his 20th cigarette of the morning. Blowing smoke all over the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> that ham's already smoked, you chavvy bastard. <laughs> the difficulty is, though, my family are a bit like that. My in laws are very posh. So now my kids speak weird. They speak half like me and half like the other family. They're like, Mummy, please can we have some water? <laughs> But it's hard if you're in with the in-laws and they're a bit middle class. You never know what to buy them for Christmas. I thought I'd get my coffee machine. I thought they'll love it. They're middle class, it's a coffee machine. One of them proper, like, bean ones, vroom, 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 zhuzh ones. <laughs> like, I weren't messing about DeLonghi from Costco, yeah? A few hundred quid, right? <laughs> I give it to them and I went, oh, do you like this coffee machine? She went, no, and well, unfortunately, we're going to take it back. Well, oh, no, how come? So she went, well, we haven't got enough space on the side. <laughs> they have got so much fucking side. <laughs> They've got a big middle-class kitchen with nothing out. <laughs> Empty side, because when you're middle-class, you have to make it look like you don't live in your own house. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> it cannot look like you live there. It must be a show home. It can't look like anyone has any fun in this house. <laughs> it must be clean and soulless. My wife's tried on us. She went, oh, Rob, can you put the towels away? I went, I have. They're on the banister. That's where they go. <laughs> That's where they live. <laughs> Not enough space on the side. So I said, well, what are you going to do then? If you take it back, you're going to get vouchers. What are you going to get? She went, well, we're going to take it back, Rob, and we're going to get the vouchers so that we can buy a Le Creuset to Jean. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm stood there thinking, I'm going to have to Google both of them. I'll take my chances on Le, but... <laughs> I said, how comes? She went, well, unfortunately, Rob, between you and me, my casserole dish is simply too deep for Cocker Van. <laughs> I said, I don't know how you're sleeping at night, Teresa. <laughs> I'd never even heard of Cocker Van until I started going around their house. First time I went to you on Cocker Van. Van, please. I don't know. <laughs> I'm each of their own. I'm a van man. <laughs> Have cock for lunch as it goes. <laughs> Absolutely stuffed full of the stuff. Couldn't get another cock inside me if you tried. Camden, you've been absolutely lovely. I've been Rob Beckett. Be lucky. Good night.